Um, so I'm going to take you through this really quickly. This is a sentence correction question. Remember that sentence correction questions um, are sort of your saviors in the time management aspect. Uh, so if you look at CR, critical reasoning, um, you will realize that CR questions on average take about two minutes per question. And RC questions on average, if you, can, if you include the amount of time you spend reading the passage, will take you two plus minutes Per question, including the time invested in reading the passage and solving the questions. Um, and if you remember, we have about we have less than two minutes. We have 1.8 minutes per question. So how do you make up for that? Well, through the sentence correction questions. Uh, know that you will have the predominant proportion of the questions will be sentence correction, right? Um, and Although they may seem complicated, for the, in this question, for instance, there's a lot of details there, and you know you might think that you may want to read every sentence, every answer option, and put it back in the sentence and try to figure out what it meaningfully means. And sometimes you have to, very rarely though, but in most cases you don't have to, because it's testing you on very specific skills. Again, it's not necessarily grammar, um, some grammar aspects, but then it's more about. Uh, being able to think critically and notice patterns. Um, and if you're able to do that, you will be able to solve a question within 60 minutes, 60 seconds, sorry. A and that should be your goal. Your goal is to solve a sentence correction question in about 60 seconds, on average. So some will take you less, some will take you a little bit more, but that's okay. On average, you should be spending about 60 seconds per question. And again, this ties back to how you need to be practicing. You need to be practicing whatever your practice is. If it, 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 it could be from the official guide, it could be from other practice material, but make sure all your practice sessions, once you've got the concepts right, all your practice sessions are timed. Um, timed realistically, as if it were the actual GMAT. And practice them in sets. At least 20 questions in each set. Uh, this creates a more realistic environment of practice. Let's look at this question now. Um, I'm just going to quickly show you the magic of pattern recognition here. Right? Notice a few things here. Option A is always going to be the same as the underlined portion. Also, if you look at the answer options in the beginning and towards the end, uh, you will realize that there are certain patterns that keep repeating themselves. Uh, there is a split in the beginning between is and are. Right? Um, now, this is a verb, and this verb corresponds to a subject doing that action. So once we've noticed that, we realize that one of those groups is wrong, and one of those groups is grammatically right. right? So we need to figure out whether it's this group or the other group. So now the question is, who is or are expected to announce tomorrow? Well, a major pharmaceutical company. right? Again, of course, I, I definitely, you definitely should read the entire sentence by itself, understand what it's saying, and then move to the answer options. I'm just assuming that you've already read the sentence. So a major pharmaceutical company in cooperation with an international public health organization and blah, blah, blah. So you realize that this is actually a propositional phrase of sorts. It's giving additional detail. And for all practical reasons, for you know, grammatically, in, for this scenario alone, I can sort of get rid of that. And it will still make sense. A major pharmaceutical company is expected to announce something. Right. So it has to be is because it's a company, it's singular, R is out. Now, let's look at, look, at, look at the answer options looking for more patterns. Look at the differences between the answer options, or among the answer options in this case. So if you look at options A, D, and E, you realize that A uses it, D uses they, and E uses their. That there would be, uh, yeah, that there would be uh, a transfer of the. We will come to that. What is this pronoun referring to? It versus they. What is it referring to? Well, it's talking about the same pharmaceutical company. And we know it is a singular thing. What then is the answer? A. As simple as that. So effectively, this took me less than 30 seconds to solve. Right? Reading, understanding that there are patterns, realize that there are only so many ways that the answer options can test you and so many things that they can test you on. Looking for patterns and in the answer options can really uh, save a lot of time uh, that you spend going back and forth among the answer options. Right? So it will help you effectively understand what is being tested 
and also understand what patterns exist among the answer options. This helps you get rid of a chunk of answer options and get to the right answer really, really quickly.